Hi guys, in this vlog, you will be following my journey to one of the prettiest places in the Philippines, Bohol. My favorite part is when the plane hovers above the turquoise waters. The views never cease to amaze me, and I promise they look so much better in real life. After lunch, we headed to our hotel, Eskaya Beach Resort and Spa, which only needed a 30-minute drive from Tagbilaran Airport. Right upon arrival, we were greeted with immeasurable hospitality, staff members put plumeria necklaces on us, and they also served us complimentary banana shakes as we waited for our check-in time. And now I can smell the sea. Here is our booked villa, which is the Grand Infinity Sea View Villa. There was ample space inside with two TVs, a large dining area, and the master bedroom had floor-to-ceiling windows that showed the view of the private infinity pool and balcony facing the sea. There was also a private jacuzzi in the backyard, which was connected to the bathroom. They put flowers everywhere. <laughs> My mom and I are huge fans of checking out different kinds of seashells and we even brought a mini yellow shovel all the way from Manila to make everything more fun. Looks like it's connected. Swimming pool and the sea. I had been waiting for this trip for years since the last time I swam in the beach was back in 2019 in Boracay. And since then, I had to adapt to COVID, study for college entrance exams, graduate high school, and go to uni. So with every second I spent basking in the sun, soaking in salt water, I made sure to enjoy it to the fullest because I realized just how much I took vacations for granted. Later that evening, we went to Eskaya's restaurant, Lantawan. Forgive me if I mispronounced it. We ordered Filipino dishes like pinakbet and crispy pata, but my personal favorite is their sizzling pork sisig. The next morning, we made our first stop at Chocolate Hills. It's one of the most iconic tourist destinations in Bohol, where dozens of mountains are shaped like tiny bumps. Also, this is where they filmed the Harry Potter Quidditch scenes. Maybe it could be something more. Well, baby, it's always summer. Our second activity on the itinerary was to visit Bohol's cutest animals, Tarshirs. We had to be real quiet to not disturb them. I even read from somewhere that when they get really stressed out, they beat their heads against hard objects to commit suicide. 
I eventually managed to capture an up-close view of a Tarshir moving. It was so surreal seeing it in real life since its movements were so slow. After visiting the man-made forest, we went to the floating restaurant at Lobok River. The cruise took about an hour and it provided a lunch buffet that consisted of classic Filipino dishes and also live band performances. We saw local kids swinging off trees and jumping into the river whenever our boat passed by. It also started to drizzle halfway through, which was the exact refreshment we needed after sweating our butts off at Chocolate Hills. Our fifth and final stop of the day was the exotic animal park, which had snakes. Like I only signed up for the pretty butterflies, I did not know there were birds, big big lurking crocodiles, and even monkeys that yawn like this. Now for a mini shopping haul, we got a lot of souvenirs that day and they were all about Tarshirs. I think I might have accidentally gotten a Tarshir obsession along the way, but my favorite items are the coin pouch and the scrunchie. I can't wait to use them. Thanks to our early plans, we got to spend the late afternoon back at Iskaya. I was so excited to use my GoPro underwater and boy did it not disappoint at all. The cliffs even have a soft filter that make them look like they were straight out of a Wes Anderson movie. For dinner, we went to the famous Molly Bistro. The aesthetic was exactly what we were looking for, a mix of tropical and bohemian style to achieve the peak beach vibe. At the ground floor, it had a central semicircle bar. You could order drinks as you waited for your table. They also had smoothies served in cute Indian styled cups like this. The interior design of the restaurant was truly one of a kind. They didn't even have any air conditioners installed so as to take full advantage of the natural winds of the island. Their delicious food was also styled in a way to achieve that boho look. This is really where good presentation meets good taste. Their menu items ranged from beefy quesadillas to chewy pineapple fried rice. The next day, we went island hopping, which is the most exciting part of every beach trip here in the Philippines. As we headed to Virgin Island, we roamed around to look for dolphins and we actually saw so many of them. Here we are at Virgin Island. We came here early so that there would be fewer visitors and most importantly, it would be low tide so that we could enjoy some barbecue in the sea. Even though I'm not a big fan of exotic seafoods, I ate some anyway since it's not every day that you get to dine in the middle of the ocean.
I could finally use my GoPro to its full potential here at Balikasag Island. The water was so unbelievably blue and the streaks of sunlight made it look more magical. I was also fortunate enough to spot a sea turtle. It even swam closer to me. It's just so unforgettable. That night, we decided to have a lovely dinner on the shore, which by the way is one of the services provided by Eskaya. We even had a bonfire nearby to romanticize the experience. On our last day of the trip, we only had time to grab lunch. We decided to go to Mist, which is like a sister restaurant of Molly Bistro since they have the same owner. Mist had great execution as well. Their dishes looked unique, the restaurant's layout was complex, but the taste of the dishes, in my opinion, couldn't really compete with Molly Bistro's. Nonetheless, I still enjoyed the atmosphere there. So that's my experience at Bohol. Bohol will always have a special place in my heart. Thank you guys for tagging along by watching this vlog. I hope you've enjoyed it as much as I did filming it. Till next time, bye!